In uh, the next series of videos, I'm going to go over a couple of topics in international finance. Um, so I'm going to talk about uh, purchasing power parity, interest rate parity, and then uh, how you make decisions when you make investments in capital in uh, in the foreign markets. Okay, so uh, so first of all, let's start with purchasing power parity and interest rate parity. Uh, what they are, and then the formulas associated for them. So the uh, the concept of purchasing power parity basically says that the price of goods and services is the same in different countries after you adjust for exchange. Now, there's some issues with that, like taxes and duties and stuff like that. But relatively, um, it's saying that the exchange rates uh, of the currencies between those two countries will move uh, as the inflation rate moves between countries as well. Uh, interest rate parity is very similar, uh, except it says that the uh, the exchange rate between the two countries is also dependent on the interest rates between the two countries. So each of these has a formula, which is, uh, again, very similar to each other. So let's, uh, let's write out the formula for each one. So for purchasing power parity, if you take 1 plus the inflation in the foreign country divided by 1 plus the inflation in the home country, all to the power of t, uh, that is going to equal the forward rate of the currency at time t over the spot rate of the currency, which is the exchange rate today. One important thing is that the forward and spot rate have to be expressed in a certain form for this formula to work. So they're going to be expressed as um, foreign currency. over the home currency. Okay, so the home currency is going to be the denominator and it's going to be one. So if it was a, a US dollar, well, let's use a British pounds, British pounds to Canadian dollars and Canada is the home country, then how many British pounds would you be able to get with one Canadian dollar? So it might be 0 0.6 or 0 0.5, something like that. Okay, so that is the format that you express both the forward and the spot in. Now the rest of the variables, we can say that pi fc is equal to the inflation in the foreign country. So that's the annual rate of inflation. And then pi hc is the inflation rate in the home country. And then uh, t is the number of years in the future. Okay, so what we're trying to find out is what's the forward rate going to be in the future? Okay, so let's illustrate this with an example. So we're going to say um, we have a situation where the spot rate for the Japanese yen is 130 yen per dollar Canadian. Okay, the inflation rate is going to be... Um, uh, it's going to be over the next three years, 2% in Japan and 6% per year in Canada. Uh, what's the three year forward rate? Okay, so let's go over what some of these key factors are. So the first one is Canada is the home country, okay, and Japan will be the foreign country in this example. So we're doing everything per dollar Canadian. Time is we are looking for three years in the future. The inflation rate in Japan then is going to be um, two percent. Okay, that's the foreign inflation rate, and the home inflation rate is going to be um, six percent. And then one thirty is the spot rate. So what we are asked to calculate is what is the forward at time three, three years from now. Okay, so what will be the exchange rate in three years? So let's use that same formula that we had. So we're going to say that 1 plus the foreign inflation rate over 1 plus the home inflation rate to the power of t is equal to the forward rate at time t over the spot. Okay, so we have everything except for the forward, which is what we're trying to solve for. So let's plug the numbers in. 1 plus the foreign inflation rate is 2%. Over 1 plus 6% is the domestic inflation rate. 
time is going to be 3, so the power of 3. And our variable is the forward rate in 3 years. And the spot rate is 130 today. So if I rearrange that, the forward at time 3 is equal to 1.02 over 1.06 to the power of 3 times 130. Okay, so it equals approximately 115 yen per dollar Canadian. So that is going to be the forward rate for the yen and Canadian dollar based on this situation of inflation rates.